what's up divine fam here so i'm trying something new today you guys um i swear something does not want me to get these messages out but i am working hard on my end to make sure that you guys get what you need to hear so I was out running errands earlier and I saw um, some of these little messages in a in a box that said take one so I asked spirit before I took it um, to let this be a message to crown our reading today and um, you guys let me know if y'all can hear me I am using my computer so I'm not really sure how the sound is going to come out. So you guys let me know, okay? So what I got was my efforts are being supported by the universe. My dreams manifest into reality before my eyes. Okay, you guys. So if you remember or you watched the last reading that I did, <clears throat> Spirit wanted us to give all of our anxieties, all of our troubles, all of our toxins, we are supposed to give them to him and leave them there. Let them go. So, I already have my spread, you guys. And what we have here is the moon. This was your first card, okay? Now, normally this card represents um, secrets. But I'm not getting that for this read excuse me um what i am getting you guys is that because right after the moon we have the nine of baskets okay which symbolizes wealth and prosperity okay following after we have abundance okay so what i see here is spirit is wanting to give you guys your new beginning he wants to grow your seeds that you guys have planted and harvested but he needs you guys to let go of the toxins that are holding you back so this moon right here to me represents you being on your breakthrough to success okay i don't know if you guys can see but this represents you being on your breakthrough to success because you guys are not wanting to, um, some of you are not wanting to live up to your full potential. Some of you are still stuck in old energies, people that are talking about you, um, you're doubting yourself, you're fearing yourself. Spirit is saying, let that go. Give it to him. Let it go, okay? Trust and believe in your higher power, okay? So, with that being said, you guys are holding yourselves back from this blessing. From this new beginning, you guys are holding yourself back. For some of you, it's different. Some of you, I see you're holding back in regards to a relationship. Somebody that you had to walk away from. And others of you, I'm seeing that you're being held back because you're doubting yourself. You're afraid that the seeds that you're planting, they're not growing quick enough. And also, you're wanting to hide your potential from the world. You know your potential. You know what you were put here to do. But you're letting this doubt creep in, okay? Therefore, making you lie to yourself. You're lying to yourself. This is you lying to yourself. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a grandfather here sitting here talking to, talking to his grandson here. And if I were there, you know, what, what I hear him telling him is reach for that moon. You can see it. It's big. It's beautiful. If you can see it, you can reach for it. This grandfather is passing down all the wisdom that he has, all his knowledge that he has. Um, Spirit's also saying that some of you may have um, lost a loved one and 
a grandfather, grandmother, someone close to you, my condolences. Um, I also lost someone really close to me, and um, we just get through the best way that we can. Don't let anybody tell you how to grieve. Um, it is important. Make sure you take time out to grieve properly so you can reach this abundance, okay? I see you guys are still smiling. Y'all are still happy. Y'all are still reaching for the stars. But some of you guys are holding on to this self-doubt and fear, which is stopping you from moving forward to the abundance that your higher power has for you. We also have the lover's card. Now, for some of you, somebody will be coming back. Okay. I get that for some of you guys, this is going to be a soulmate. This is going to be a counterpart, but spirit is saying, take your time, take your time, date, you guys, don't jump into anything, okay? Take your time dating, get to know someone, get to know that person. I don't care, say you've known them for two years. Okay, you've known of them for two years, but do you really know them? Sometimes when we think we know somebody, we never really know them. Okay, and spirit is asking you to basically lean on your intuition, listen to yourself, stop doubting yourself. Okay, stop doubting yourself so he can bring in this abundance this is a beautiful card you guys you guys have self abundance and wealth on the way you guys are going from rags to riches if you guys would just let go some of you need to let go of doubt some of you need to let go of fear some of you need to let go of this person and for others of you you will have people coming in and you need to take your time I'm also getting that for some of you guys, um, someone is returning. Someone that wronged you, they will be returning. But Spirit is telling you to listen to your higher self and use your better judgment, okay? All right, you guys, I'm going to get one more card on this courting card, I just want to clarify you guys. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. I ask that you come in and clarify this courting card for my viewers. What did I tell you? That is your soulmate. That is your counterpart. This person that is coming in. Spirit needs you to let go of doubt. Spirit needs you to let go of fear so he can bless you. He needs you to take your time getting to know people. Don't just date one person. I'm not telling you to go out here and sleep around, okay? There's a difference between sleeping around and getting to know someone, okay? You guys, take your time. Keep your cookies in the cookie jar for a little while longer, okay? You guys can do it. I know you can. And then, you guys, that is your blessing. This is your blessing. You have true love. You have wealth. And you have inner peace and abundance. As soon as as you let this go. Y'all, I don't have a whole lot of room to work with on this little table. All right, we also have the Six of Knives, you guys.
Stop looking, okay? Stop looking for someone to settle down with. This is for some of you guys. Stop looking for a counterpart. To my women, to my queens out there, it is his job to find you. That is not your job. Your job is to focus on your pennies, focus on your coins, focus on your bag, focus on your inner peace, focus on your abundance in yourself. And as soon as you do, there is love right around the corner for you guys. I can't make this up, y'all. I can't make it up. And you see, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but in this card, this woman, she's just kind of looking like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And the man is just, he's smitten with her, you guys. For a lot of you, this is someone that is returning that did you wrong. And they had to go within themselves and they had to find inner peace for themselves okay and you guys are basically what made that happen you guys walked away and you opened up a door basically to make them learn how to love themselves whoever you guys were dealing with um they didn't love themselves okay and that reflected on you guys Whoever this person was, they put you through it, okay? They put you guys through it. And now they're wanting to come back. A lot of you miss this person. You really, really miss this person. And they miss you too. They can't stop thinking about you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Any more messages? Whoop. All right, y'all. So we had one fall on the floor. I'm going to take it. And I do not read reversals. I like to keep everything clean and positive over this way, you guys. So we have the Ten of Coins. That's confirmation, you guys. I'm not pulling no more cards. That's confirmation, okay? I can't make this up. So when you guys are ready to let go of this fear and this doubt, Spirit's ready to bless you with everything that your heart could desire. You have your material wealth. You have your inner peace. You have family and friends that love you genuinely. And you have a counterpart, a soulmate. And you're finding your inner peace. A lot of you guys are going within and you're searching for this inner peace. A lot of you need to meditate, okay? If you are not meditating... Please, 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 please. I cannot stress to you guys enough how important it is to meditate and how important it is to watch the energies that you keep around you, that you let in your circle. Because for a lot of you, this relationship is what brought you down in the first place. But this relationship is also what brought you into this new cycle of abundance because you got tired. You got tired of being this giving, 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 giving person and you're never receiving. It, at least that's what it feels like. But let me tell you guys something. Even though you may not have spiritual wealth, or uh, I'm sorry, even though you may not have um, physical wealth, you guys, the people that I'm talking to, 
You guys are abundant on the inside. You guys have everything you need in here. It starts here and it manifests itself, you guys, because... If you look at some of these people that seem like they have their lives together, everything's going great, they've got money, they got family, these reality TV stars, I promise you guys, they are behind the scenes paying for couples counseling, okay? These guys are behind the scenes crying and fighting and, and trying to figure out where they are in life. Everybody right now is trying to figure out who they are and where they belong. Those are the people that care about where they're going. Those are people who care. I'm talking to the people who care about change. People who want to make a difference in this world, you guys. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, I ask that you come in and give us a closing message of positivity, please. You guys don't give up, okay? If you guys could see what I could see, even though you can't see it, I know you can feel it. I know you can. There's too much energy here, you guys. I know you can feel it. You have to. And it really is beautiful energy. Spirit's just saying, let me take it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Spirit's just saying, you guys, take your time take your time enjoy life learn to live again learn learn to love again learn to laugh again you guys y'all have been so uptight and you guys have been so pained and angered for so long but you're still so graceful and elegant And you're rocking it. You really are. I'm so proud of you guys. If ain't nobody else told you guys they're proud of you, I'm proud of you. So proud of you guys. Because this is not easy. It's not easy living in a world of negativity when people, we're all here to do the same thing. We're all here. We all have the same goals. But instead, we steady want to tear each other down. And there's no need for it. There's no need for it, you guys. All right, so let's get a positive message, you guys. We have fifth chakra, throat chakra, truthfulness. I am truthful and honest with myself. I aim to overcome any fears about speaking my truth. And I speak in a loving, considerate way. Okay, you guys, getting over your doubts and your fears. Okay, do not be afraid to shine do not be afraid for the world to see you because honey they're gonna see you whether you want them to or not they see you so you might as well look good while they looking at you okay and make sure with everything you do it comes from a pure heart space which the people i'm talking to i know you guys have a pure heart space you guys are always coming from a pure heart space and you love others before you even love yourself this reading is for you spirit is saying love yourself love yourself spirit says i know you love other people i see you i see you praying for other people i see you giving your last to others now it's time for you to pray for yourself pray for yourself Stop praying for these men. I'm not going to tell y'all not to pray for somebody, but stop putting your energy into people that is not reciprocating what you guys are giving them because you guys are draining your own energy that way, okay? My personal empowerment comes from telling the truth and letting others know who I am. Others will be positively uplifted when they hear my truth I take care not to exaggerate in order to impress them. You guys be yourselves. Be yourselves. Look, 
Look, I ain't, I, don't, I think I brushed my hair, y'all, but I ain't got no makeup on. I ain't got no nails. This is not for the fame and glamour. This is to help someone. If I reach one person out of all the videos I do, then that's what I was supposed to do, you guys. That's what we are supposed to do. Speak your truth. Do it in a kind and loving way. And never back down. Never back down from what you know and you believe and you feel is true, even if you can't see it. Another thing, okay, spirit. So, some of you guys have not reached this level of abundance yet because you're not ready for it, okay? Spirit said, if you get this now, if you get this abundance now and you get this wealth now, you guys... Y'all are going to give it away. Y'all are going to give it away to the wrong people. For some of you. Because that's who you are. You give and give and give. Spirit is still needing some of you guys to learn a lesson. Okay? Especially the ones... Who put men before they do or they put a man or a woman before they do themselves you guys if you can't love yourself others are not going to love you point blank period it sounds it sounds horrible but it's the truth it's a cold world you guys if you don't believe in yourself no one else is going to believe in you and those are facts i'm careful not to let my mind mislead me and in turn others I avoid gossiping or speaking negatively of others. Okay, so you guys, y'all have cut off most of your friends, okay? You guys are lonely, 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 lonely. And that is for a reason. That is so spirit can get you to focus, focus on him so he can give you this prosperity, abundance, family friends and your counterpart you guys it's here it's here it's waiting for you i can't make this up y'all it's here and it's waiting all you have to do is go from within and some of you guys y'all about to be rich if i was y'all well i am i am one of y'all listen to me I'm, I'm gonna go play the lotto so i would advise you guys to do the same if you have the extra money to do so, do not break yourself, okay? Don't break yourself. Make sure you guys are given your 10% because that is where you need to be. Um, if you guys are concerned with who to give your money to, who to help, lean on spirit. Lean on spirit for everything, you guys. I've had people ask me, so when you give your money to so-and-so, how do you know they're not going to go buy a beer? Okay, that's nor my problem nor my concern. First of all, I pray before um, I just give my money away to anyone. Spirit leads me to the people that he wants me to help. And you guys have to learn how to lean on, on your higher self and don't doubt it. Don't let that um, that dark cloud of uh, doubt creep in because when you do, this is what happens, you guys. It holds you guys back from this, okay? And I know my camera is blurry. I apologize, you guys. Um, I'm working towards getting another phone and set up and you guys just work with me, okay? All right, y'all, I'm going to read this one and then we're going to wrap things up. I have the second chakra, sacral chakra, creative manifestation. I have the ability to manifest and create positive outcomes in my life. It is a time for me to manifest what I need. I ask myself, what do I need? You guys sit down. Some of you are not organized at all. You guys need to sit down, make a journal, write everything down because as much as we would like to 
remember everything up here work smarter not harder you guys i learned that the hard way okay it is a time for me to manifest what i need i ask myself what do i need I am optimistic and creative in carrying out all the tasks that come my way, even seemingly mundane ones. Ooh, mundane? Anyway. And I maintain a positive attitude in all I do. I am open to receive and I am deserving. So again, some of you guys are getting um, frustrated with the process. Don't give up. If you give up, then anybody that that ever said anything about you, they were right. Don't let them be right. Don't give them that power. Don't give them that over you, okay? Make sure you guys are leaning into your higher source. I can't I can't stress that enough, you guys. That's pretty much the whole message for this read. You guys want abundance you guys want love you want happiness and spirit saying hey give it to me come to me god saying come to me come to me with your burdens come to me with your problems come to me with everything and let me take care of it you've planted your seed i saw that you've planted your seed i see you child i see you harvesting Now leave your troubles with me and let me take care of the rest. All right, you guys, I love you and I thank you so much for tuning in. Um, Y'all make sure to check out the description link below. If you guys have any questions or need any advice, feel free to um, email me. And I'm thinking about um, starting to do personal reads. So you guys comment below and let me know what you think. Also, if you would like to donate or support to this channel, check the description link below and you can find my information there. I'm wishing you guys peace, love, and light. And for the love of God, you guys, get some rest. Meditate. You're going to need it, you guys. It's going to be a prosperous year. You guys are not even going to recognize yourselves. If you do these things and you take these steps, that spirit is asking you to take. You will have a whole new life. You will have a whole new beginning. And it's something that will be permanent, you guys. No more crying. No more fighting. No more dark energy. It's. I mean, of course, everybody cries. But you know what I mean. It's not going to be... You're going to be crying tears of joy, pretty much. I mean... I mean, I can't make this up, you guys. It's so beautiful this somebody's gone within somebody's doing the work you guys and somebody is getting blessed all right that's all i have for you guys today wishing you peace love and light and you guys remember be someone's blessing not someone's problem okay i love you guys